But yeah, here we go. Running and we're gonna practice session. again free running. Right. And there's, uh, there's uh, after you manage to do that, there's something else. Uh, there, well, I think there's like two more tricks that we need uh, to to practice when it comes to free running. And let me tell you that everything that I am teaching you is kind of like by the end of uh, of uh, I think that yeah, I could say like by the end of today you will you'll be you will be like an in intermediate player, you know. Like yeah, well, in the in terms of the things that you know, because a lot of the things that I am telling you, a lot of people see people do it do it on YouTube videos, but they don't they don't learn to do it like after a lot of time later. Your objective mm -hmm. is they don't successfully do it. Like, yeah. Yeah, no experience. Okay, so follow me and let's go to the same spot. Come on, Governor, let's go. Jeez. <laughs> All right, I'm here. All right, so okay, this wall is really tall. Uh, you want to learn the height of the walls to know whether you're gonna climb them to the top or not. A wall yeah. that is this height, you're never gonna get to the top. You just climb and grab into the ledge. So uh, this tall or any taller than this is is not gonna climb all the way to the top. But 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 some objects, for example, get over here. This object and this other object, they're not tall enough. So if you attempt to climb them, you're gonna climb all the way to the top. You know? Yeah. And it, uh, also this one. So you wanna be aware of this, of the height of the objects, because that would change the timing uh, on the way like that you press the buttons uh, to do the instant uh, drop. Because uh, it, it you you have to climb higher if the wall is is any taller than this object yeah Th this is like oh wow i actually didn't climb all the way to the top that's weird i don't know why but this particular object uh if you climb it from this side it is tall enough oh yeah <laughs> that's funny i didn't know that you see you learn something new every day yeah like yeah. Oh, if, wow. if you climb it from any other side it goes all the way to the top even from this side, look at this. Like on the side I am, I am right now. It is almost the exact same height as that one, but it it, it does cl climb all the way to the top for some reason. <laughs> you you be logic. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. I have circle logic. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Okay. So yeah, you wanna you wanna keep that in mind when it comes to climbing. Uh, all the stuff. Okay, so we're gonna practice with a small object first. So come here where I am right now. Oh, okay. Whoops. Yeah. So here is like the best practice to, the best place in this map to practice it. Uh, first you wanna learn just to do the drop, the instant drop. So this is what you wanna do right now. No, no, no. L okay, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna press forward and high profile, right? And as yeah. as soon as you begin climbing the the wall. As soon as you begin climbing the wall, you're gonna release the high profile button and the, the, the left stick, you're gonna push it back and press and press and hold the X button at the same time. But you wanna do all that before you reach the top, not after you reach the top. Because if you do it after you reach the top, it's not gonna instantly drop. It's gonna, it, it's gonna take some time to turn around and then drop. And that's not what you wanna do because that's, that's too slow. Are you talking about uh, the X button on PlayStation oh, oh, or yeah. the A button on Xbox? Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it's just that. Because uh, I was pressing the X button, I was like, wait, isn't that? Yeah, no, that's there. not because that's a kill button. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's all good for all the PlayStation viewers. Yeah, that is the X let button. me say more like um, the feed button, <laughs> because yeah, like <laughs> from from the first Assassin's Creed. The left button, which is either the X or the square, depending on the console, is the the armed hand button. The 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 stun button is the empty hand button. The the well, in this case, is the ranged weapon. But in in previous games and like since the first Assassin's Creed, that is the head button, which was the button for Templar Vision on the first Assassin's Creed. But now it's like something else. But whatever, I'm just gonna refer to the head button, the armed hand button, the unarmed, the, the empty hand button, and the feet, right? 
So you wanna yeah. you wanna press the feet, the feet bottom, back and the feet. Yeah, you're doing it. Yeah, that's Roots. the. Roots. Yeah, so like the idea is after you perform the the instant drop, as soon as you see that the drop begins, you wanna press forward and the empty hand, the empty hand bottom. So you grab the ledge. Yeah. Yeah, basically, I'm I'm gonna uh, do it so you can see it like many times. And also, after you drop and grab the ledge, you can repeat it again, and it goes out even faster than before by pressing forward. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, this is the like the greatest way to practice it. Yeah, you kind of get in the hang of it. So ah. if if when you do this, uh, uh, let me explain now the advantages of doing this. A lot of the time you have a target that is in a roof and they are aware of your presence. So they are they want they are just waiting for you at the roof, just on the roof. So so that they drop a smoke bomb or maybe throw knives. So what you want to do is lure them into thinking that you are at the top, but in reality, you're just going to instantly drop and whatever they use, whatever ability they use, is gonna miss. That's one reason. And the second reason is that, by all means, if you can get a grab kill, oh dude, please do it. <laughs> As my very dear uh, friend Yulin18 said, uh, target <laughs> grab kills are target's nightmare since ACR. <laughs> oh my god, like, I, I've done one. Like, my first ever grab kill, I, I, when I saw the 450 point bonus, I was thinking, this. This this can't be real. Like I, I must have got a different bonus, but it's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it's absolutely nuts. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I told you. She said uh, in one of her montages, she said that like grab kills, targets nightmares since ACR, <laughs> because like. Oh yeah, she's really well. Like she's good at doing montages. Yeah. It, it, she made your new intro as well, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, I, I'm yeah. I'm so thankful for that. If anyone that's watching this on my channel, please go check Nova Star's intro. I think it's absolutely sick. I showed my parents. I showed my parents the intro, and I'm like, "This intro is so cool." <laughs> oh wow! Uh, I, thank you, thank you. And I'm also, and she's probably also gonna know because she's most likely gonna see this video. Okay, so, uh, um, what was I gonna say? I lost my friend of thought. Okay, so yeah, 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 about grab kills. So like in ACB, they were worth like 150 points, which was worthless. But after after ACR, it's like 450. <laughs> so it's ridiculous. And that's yeah. not that's not including any other bonuses that you get, because like if it was a silent or an ink ink grab kill, it's gonna be like 800 points <laughs> or something like that, because yeah. of all the bonuses. Okay, so now let's show the practical aspect of this. Besides getting a grab kill, is the evading and ability thing. So lock on me, lock on me. Oh, well, well, let's do it the other way around. Since since you're still practicing, uh, I'm gonna lock on you. Okay, so I'm your pursuer. Uh, can you switch to a set that has a smoke bomb? Yep. All right. Uh, so do it. Do that now. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so. I'm not gonna tell you when am I going to climb uh, the, the, the little thing. I want you to stay put at the edge, don't walk. Just stay... no, 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 no not that close. <laughs> uh, okay. let, let's make it more realistic. If you were a real target, you would be like here. Or something like that. Right? Because you don't want to be killed as soon as I get to the top. You're not that stupid. <laughs> yeah. Well, not you really, but I mean your potential... So, yeah. yeah, your potential target. So the idea is you know that I am your pursuer, right? And you know I am here. And you're just waiting for me to go up. Uh, most desperate players, they, they, they will even throw the smoke bomb even before you get to the top, all right? But yeah. uh, if it's a, would we'll say a decent player, they're gonna wait for you to climb, right? So you're there just, right. like, all you're doing there is waiting for me to climb and drop smoke bomb. Okay, so now right. what I want you is to react to the moment where I climb and drop the smoke bomb and see if you can get a stun on me. All right? Sounds good. All right. Okay, training begins now. One minute remaining. First blood. Wow. 
I thought I was actually gonna get this done too. Oh boy, was I wrong. Oh, you got an ambush bonus too. Yeah, because I, I was I, I was hiding uh, behind the behind the wall that it was in front of you, meaning the 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 little wall here. I was hiding for yeah. quite a while, so it was considered an ambush. Thirty seconds remaining. So yeah, uh, and it also works with knives. Uh, let's just give it that a quick try. Do you have knives there? Uh, yeah, I have knives. Okay, so climb, and we're gonna do the same thing again. Training begins now. Well, you hit me, but the advantage is that you will have to drop here, where I was, to get the stun. And yeah. most of the time, you won't have enough time, you, you know? Finished first. Yeah, no, yeah. And yeah. sometimes, uh, depending on how quick the reflexes of the other person are, and how much lag is in the game, they might not even react in time, and they're just going to uh, hit the obstacle with the knives, you know, the, the wall. They're gonna hit yeah. the ground, the floor. In this case, they're gonna hit. They will hit the ground. Yeah. And that's it. I don't think. Yeah. Did, yeah, I, that, did that? Was we're, that we're, knife successful? We're, we're, we're not. We we have to cut it here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that's yeah, so, But yeah. Uh, well, about that. Not, yeah, you hit me. You definitely hit me. But the thing is that like, uh, you dropped. Uh, you 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 dropped too close to me, and and you couldn't get the stun. So if you wanted to get a stun there, you will have to drop a little further away, which will probably take you too long. And more more often than not, when that happens to me, like if I see someone does that to me, like they climb and immediately drop, and I just fell for it, I just threw my knives. And if, even yeah. if, even if I hit them, unless I have I am in a really good position that I can actually like drop and get the stun. Most of the time, I don't even go for the stun because I, more more often than not, you will get killed. Yeah.